Now, while we tend to know a lot more about the sequels beforehand, we're always more interested to see what brand new games are being announced at E3. Let's take a look at some of our favorites. Kicking off is Tom Clancy's The Division being developed by Ubisoft. And despite bearing the Tom Clancy brand, this is actually a new franchise. It's using Ubisoft's Snowdrop engine, which as we saw in some earlier previews, looks absolutely insane. In a few words, The Division tells the story about a disease that spreads on Black Friday and basically brings the entire US to its knees in just five days. You play as part of a last ditch effort to save what remains as you're pitted against AI and even other players. The Division is set to be released next year on both next gen consoles and the PC. Next is the massive, high-concept, procedurally generated No Man's Sky. We got our first peek at this game at Spike's VGX event last year, but at Sony's press conference at E3, we got a much better look. Coming to only the PS4 on release, at least, No Man's Sky lets players explore a universe of unprecedented scale completely seamlessly. Be the first to discover a new species of animals, regions, or even entire worlds. Besides the fact that it looks really gorgeous and vibrant, we honestly can't wait to fly around in some ships from ground level to space without a single pitch. This is definitely one to watch for. Another one to look out for is Ori and the Blind Forest, coming to Xbox One and PC. This is definitely an art and story first 2D platformer, and it looks absolutely breathtaking. It's expected to be a puzzle-based platformer and will run at a buttery 60 FPS at 1080p on the Xbox One when it's released this fall. And then of course there is Destiny, the new game from legendary studio Bungie, responsible for the Halo franchise up to and including Reach, and now they're digging into a brand new franchise, running on a brand new engine. And while it's still a sci-fi shooter, Destiny combines an expansive open world setting, dynamic events, and RPG elements in a manner that would make us skeptical if it was any other developer than Bungie. What we've seen of this game so far looks awesome, and we can't wait to see more. Best of all, it's set to be released this September, but beta testing starts in July, so there's a chance you might even get a sneak peek a little early. And then there's Bloodborne, the newest game from Hidetaka Miyazaki, the creative director of the Dark Souls and Demon Souls games. While the E3 presentation was all CG, we at least learned that the game features a dark gothic setting and plenty of terrible beasts to kill. If you've played Dark Souls before, you probably have a decent idea of what to expect from the gameplay, and given the pedigree of the studio responsible for this game, we definitely have reason to believe it's something to look forward to. And last but not least is Project Spark, a game that's more of a platform than a game, really. Coming to Xbox One later this year, Project Spark lets users create entire worlds from scratch and build in gameplay and interactions using a hopefully easy to use visual programming language. You can share your creations with everyone else in the world so that they can play it, and if you don't want to do the creating, you can just download and play games built by the community. The kinds of things you can do with Project Spark look pretty diverse, and we're really hoping to see some inventive games created by people on this platform when it's released. 